Hello folks. So in this video, I'm going to cover uh, certain options uh, which are provided with Azure uh, VM when you basically spin up a virtual machine. Uh, you will be provided with certain options on the left hand side. So if you can see there is an activity log, uh, you can change the security settings here. You can you know provide an uh, identity related, uh, uh, you can do identity related setup using uh, you know Azure Active Directory here. Then if you want to set up some backup related uh, stuff, uh, you can do it uh, using this particular tab. Uh, disaster recovery can be enabled or disabled through this particular tab. And when it comes to uh, diagnostic or monitoring a particular virtual machine, uh, you can come down to this monitoring uh, monitoring section, okay? All right, so let us say if I want to turn on the diagnostics uh, settings on for my virtual machi machine so that, you know, uh, Azure can track or, you know, Azure can basically collect those diagnostic details uh, to make the, you know, experience better. And uh, through that, uh, those actually diagnostics, we can also make sure that, you know, we can perform some analytics on top of uh, that uh, uh, you know uh, diagnostic to make the uh, you know experience better for our end users so if we click on diagnostic settings okay you will be provided with the uh, certain options okay and in those options uh, you will be given uh, you know given a chance to basically uh, turn on the uh, diagnostic for certain uh, uh, for a virtual machine okay so in order to um, and you know uh, we, you can track or you know you can collect uh, in fact uh, azure uh, if you enable this option then azure will uh, you know collect that diagnostic information like cpu utilization disk usage uh, networking usage uh, for all the virtual machines you, which you have deployed uh, on the, the, the Azure infrastructure. And you can basically collect, as I told you earlier, uh, you know, some metrics, logs, and other diagnostic data using uh, this particular uh, option. Okay, so in order to enable it, you can enable uh, through this button called Enable Guest Level Monitoring. Okay. And then you will be provided with a lot of options there. So I will show you in a while. What are those? Okay, so now you can see what kind of logs you can collect. Okay, system logs, and we have several metrics as well here. Okay, so if you let us say click on metrics. Okay, so you can configure basically the sample rate here how often you want to collect the metrics for let us say your processor virtual machine processor virtual machine memory uh, networking details file system and disk usage details so these are some of the options and uh, if we collect uh, if we uh, basically set the sample rate let us say if i make it 30 seconds uh, then every 30 second uh, the data will be collected diagnostic data will be collected for the processor itself Okay, so let's see the custom details here uh, nothing much on this uh, Let's click on save first So if we click on configure metrics you can add a new matrix here, right? If in case you want to. And let's discard it for now. Okay. And then there is another set of uh, monitoring, uh, another monitoring process called metrics. So you can set certain metrics here. 
as per your uh, requirements or needs okay So you can see that uh, the resource name uh, which is my virtual machine uh, namespace is this and then you are provided with certain uh, metrics here so cpu credits consumed you can set that or cpu credits remaining uh, data disk qd uh, which is right now deprecated and this is a uh, q depth is in preview mode okay so let us say if i can set this uh, particular metric then you will be able to see the aggregated average value for your cpu credit consumption okay here all right so that is the way you can set up a metric here if you go into logs section okay so one more thing i wanted to tell you in metrics just give me a moment let me So you have to basically choose a log analytics enable space workspace here and then you can enable the log so what will happen uh, uh, you know azure will start uh, taking the logs of your virtual machine so whatever activity you are doing on your system and let us say there are any errors uh, coming up on your uh, virtual machine then those can be captured uh, if this particular option is enabled okay so going back to metrics all right so you can basically uh, when you select any uh, metrics right you can basically uh, choose your the chart of your choice here right so if you want to see the details in form in the form of area chart you can select the area chart here if you want a bar chart you can select a bar chart here so you can see the bar here right spike kind of uh, scatter chart you can see create a scatter chart right now you can see only one point uh, for a scatter chart if line chart is there so you can see a specific line here so there are various ways you can choose the type of a chart you you want to see these uh, uh, metrics right uh, you can pin uh, these metrics on your dashboard as well right or you can export it to excel as well if in case you want uh, to see the data in excel for reference purpose okay so guys uh, this is the way we can basically enable the monitoring option uh, to capture the diagnostics of your uh, virtual machine uh, in order to basically you, you can do some analytics on log data to uh, you know make the experience of our end customers better by resolving the issues and going through the uh, diagnostic and uh, figuring out what kind of issues you are having on that virtual machine okay so guys uh, this is it for this video uh, i will be covering next topics in the upcoming video so keep on watching and please hit like button and subscribe as well if in case you like this video thank you